Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti E Classroom. Let's continue the same uh, session. Yesterday we have discussed RBI Assistant 2017 paper. We have discussed some questions from reasoning. I think one question from puzzle, one question from seating arrangement. Let's continue that session, but uh, with a small change, students. In this session, we are going to discuss the questions from 2020 paper. 2000. Uh, 2020 paper okay uh, because 2017 paper the questions I have verified uh, but uh, those questions are not realistic uh, all our fabricated questions are there I tried from many sources we have our own channel to collect that question just give me one day's time let me collect the remaining questions because whatever I am giving to you that will be 100% accurate information I will give you always and that must be helpful for all the students right just give me one day's time meanwhile without wasting the time let us start a 2020 RBI assistant paper start with the reasoning section in this session I am going to discuss five questions from that paper from Shilaism chapter after that we may go for two three other questions as well I don't know how many questions or people have set in this class let me discuss all the questions probably the blood relation questions also we will take uh, three sessions for reasoning and three ses uh, sessions for quantitative aptitude. Okay, but students, before starting these Shilaism questions, a student must have basics to understand that one. Without knowing proper basics of Shilaism, it will be difficult to solve uh, any difficulty level from that chapter. In fact, in our course, I have given more than 12 hours of lessons for Shilaism only. I have developed a method with the help of Venn diagrams uh, almost 24 years ago. Foolproof method. You get 200% accuracy within the stipulated time. Only the basics. To learn the basics, it takes uh, 3 hours students. It take, uh, takes 3 hours anyway. For those students who have not joined our institute, still you can understand that one. I just try my best to give the concept along with the questions only. Before starting that one, I'll tell you, I have uh, developed one method where three steps are required. One is start the question with basic diagram. You have to draw a basic diagram. I have given some rules for that one. If it is required, go for the alternate diagram. You have to check the conclusions where alternate diagram is required. You need to check only those conclusions where alternate diagram is required. I have given some rules for basic diagram followed by rules for alternate diagram as well. If required, we need to go for the third step uh, that is complementary way because in the options uh, you get either or option. To check the mutually exclusiveness of uh, two conclusions, you need to go for complementary pair concept also. These are the three basic rules I have developed. Then after that, uh, many, many, many shortcuts I have given where you can confine only to the first step where to go for the second unnecessarily we should not go for three steps for all the questions because the stipulated time for this one is not more than 30 to 35 seconds uh, all right now i'm going to explain the questions and i'll try my best as i told you just now to explain the concept also to some extent in a nutshell okay right let's start the first question it's a simple question actually is it the first only right first question only from the same paper uh, students it's a simple question actually you need not even draw the basic diagram also i told you one shortcut when all the statements are positive and conclusions are also positive no need of any diagram but for the beginners are the new students let us start with the basic diagram what is that one all breads are cakes have to draw this one all breads are cakes this is the basic diagram first diagram that means to prove these two statements this is the first diagram there won't be any diagram before this one whatever the other diagrams are there that will be after this only you have to maintain least number of cuts and a minimum possible encroachment overlapping that is called basic diagram <coughs> see students by the way to prove all these rcs we have one more diagram also b and c can be in the same circle even this is also right but it is not basic diagram it is alternate diagram whenever it is required we will consult it otherwise we confine to this one okay right now go for the 
second conclusion all x are k x are now just say all b s are c s now all x are k x all e s are c s according to the basic diagram concept e should be inside c only but b and e should not merge with each other in the basic diagram because b c merges with each other there will be more number of cuts than this diagram so in the basic diagram it should be like this if it is required in the alternate diagram of course you can combine these two simple question this one okay now go for the first conclusion some cases are friends now you see this is b inside c outside definitely some cakes on red is possible all right so by seeing this diagram i can say all b s are c is correct as far as c and b relation is concerned next some b s are c is also correct some c s are b s also correct from this one okay what happens in the next diagram we don't know but as far as the basic is concerned the conclusion some cakes are red so some part of cakes is part of red is absolutely right some means positive conclusion i told you this method we have only four types basically all no some and some not all is plus positive some is positive no minus negative some not is negative anyway students this one some cakes are breads absolutely right one more shortcut is there or rule is there what is that once one positive conclusion is right in the basic diagram always it is going to be right you need not check it again and again this is the final one okay and what about the second one some breads are x listen very carefully some breads are x according to the basic diagram some is positive bread and x are separate this is wrong according to the basic diagram it is wrong in the next diagram it may be true we don't know if it is required we go for the next diagram not required we stop here only all right next no bread is egg now you see no bread is a negative conclusion negative right okay when to go for alternate diagram only when negative is right in the basic we need to go for alternate in this case uh, you need not write anything on the paper because one more shortcut is there i have told you when both the statements are positive definitely one negative conclusion which is right in the basic diagram 100% it is going to be wrong in one or more than one diagrams alternate diagrams need not write anything on the paper now you see this is the first step no need to go for alternate diagram we have visualized the result of the alternate diagram what's the third one here before going for the final answer you need to check whether there is any complementary pair or not in the conclusion so there is a complementary pair now you see some no complementary mutually exclusive to each other moreover subject and predicate also you have to see what qualifier is some this is no bread egg bread egg yes these two come under complementary pair when these two are complementary pair i need to check this one one more time i'm telling you the concept but when both the statements are positive i told you in the shortcuts wherever it is wrong there it is going to be right the partner is going to be right now you see it's a complementary pair mutually exclusive this is there when it is wrong it is right it is right it is wrong that means between these two either our concept is possible now my final answer for this one is second conclusion third conclusion either two or three along with the one follow is the final answer for this one either two or three along with one follow is the final answer see students i explain you in a very comprehensive way assuming that some beginners are there assuming that there are some students who have not joined our institute actually for this question maximum time is 20 to 25 seconds all our students can do this question within 25 seconds with 200% accuracy or that you where is that option they have not given in any of the option so option number e none of these is the right option your answer is either two or three along with one follow is your answer 
but your answer is not reflecting any any of the options so option is none of these none of these means none of the given options is true i got one answer which is not there in the options so option is none of this okay now go for the next question students go for question number two ah this is also from the same paper here ah now you see only a few concept is used you should be a little careful here a new concept new in the sense almost uh, i think four or five years ago they have started this one anyway just go for this first basic diagram no bat is a feather forget about the grammatical rules okay right no bat is feather i'm writing like this this is bat no bat is feather this one there is a constraint between b and f whether it is basic or alternate diagram b and f should not merge with each other okay then go for the next one only if you swords are bad to it you should be very careful only if you swords are bad in this way only if you right what's the difference between uh, some and only some are few and only few some means suppose it is some bs are s you will draw like this which part of b which part of s we don't know but when they have given only a few swords are bad this part this part okay only this part is common so only some b's are s means from the same diagram i can prove some b's are not s also true but if they have given they have not given only simply they have given some b's are s in that case what happens we don't know anything which part but when they have given only some b's are s in this part no other should come no other variable should come inside of this one only except b and s okay right what's the next one here again only a few husks are swords again see only a few husks are swords this part this part this part only that part okay next one what they this only concept i've given in the previous videos also even on youtube also i have uh, uploaded that one only concept you please go through that one anyway in our regular course i have given a very detailed and comprehensive explanation uh, explanation for that one okay take the first conclusion how they have given at least some bat are husks forget about the grammatical rules here okay now at least some bats are husks at least is nothing but some i have given you in the basic sessions right some bats are husks go for the basic diagram here this is bat this is husk some bats are husk no relation here positive wrong one positive conclusion when it is wrong in the basic diagram you need not go for any alternate diagram for that one until and unless it is in the complementary way okay go for the second one some swords are feather now this is swords this is feather positive wrong that's it when both the conclusions are positive and both are wrong in the basic diagram no need to go for the alternate diagram so simply here my answer is both are wrong both are wrong means neither one nor two follows is the right one all right go for the next question third one ah just pause the video and try to do it by yourself here also only concept is there only a few how to go for this one only a few palms are cat have to go for this only a few palms are cat they are talking about this part and this part no other variable should come the next one no sight is a palms it's a simple one no sight is palms there is a constraint between p and s and then the third one all arrow is palms all arrow is palms means it should be inside this is arrow but remember in the basic diagram c and a should not merge with each other in the alternate diagram if it is required of course both can be merged with the each other okay right now go for the conclusions here quickly first conclusion says where are the conclusions one two only two they have given some sites are cat so this is site this is cat positive wrong simple one some sites are cats positive wrong uh, what is the second one they have given ah uh, no site is cat now you see students no site is cat site is here cat is here no means negative conclusion 
Okay, from the basic diagram, no psyche scat is absolutely right. Where in the basic diagram I'm talking about, this is absolutely right. But if you go further, whenever negative conclusion is right in the basic diagram, you need to check that one in the alternate diagram also. Need not draw the alternate diagram. Simply you can say, no site is cat is right here. To disqualify that, I have to prove at least some sites are cats. Yes, there is a possibility to prove S and C together without disturbing the statements. That means in that diagram, it is going to be wrong. I'm giving you the comprehensive method. You can go by the shortcut, but I'm just explaining that one completely. Now you see, first one, basic diagram, positive wrong, negative right. Anyway, in the next case, that is wrong, but observe here, qualifier here, sum, no. Complementary pair, subject and predicate, site cat, site cat, yes. To be a complementary pair, the qualifier should be some no, one complementary, all some not, one com second complementary, some some not, third complementary. Many students do not know that one, some no, one complementary, some some not, other complementary, all and some not, one more complementary. Total, three complementary pairs are there. Okay, now very clearly, complementary pair, definitely it will be right. My answer is either I am teaching you the basics again and again. I am telling you actually for this question after attending our, our uh, regular classes, you need not write even the basic diagram also. By seeing that one, you can answer it as either or case. Now go for the next question quickly. What's the next one? Uh, yeah, it's a simple question students. You can do very, very easily. Very easily you can do that. Okay, huh. because all the given three statements are positive. When all the statements are positive, there is no need to go for any alternate diagram. How is that? See, all magnetic are trust. I am writing in this way. All magnetic are trust. Simple. Next one, all fair are magnetic. Inside this, all fair are magnetic. Next one is, all cases are fair. Oh, again it is inside. All cases are fair. It is C. In this way. Okay. Now here C is subset of F, F is subset of M, M is subset of T. Now here first conclusion, at least some trusts are fair. Blindly you can say it is right. Need not write anything on the paper. Because when all the given statements are positive, positive conclusions will be definitely true. In the basic diagram, once one positive conclusion is valid in the basic diagram, always it is going to be right. Now here, at least some trusts are fair. So this is trust, this is fair, some trusts are fair is right, some fair are trust, right, everything is right, positive, right. Then go for next one, all cases are magic. Now this is cases and this is magic, absolutely, cases is subset of magic. So that is positive, right. When both the positive conclusions are there, both are right, need not go for the alternate diagram. So for that reason, both are right. Both are right means option number E is the right option. Let's go for the next question. Ah, uh, This question is from relations, blood relations from the same paper. Because we are going to finish off this 2020 paper first. After that, we will go back to this 2017. Okay, right. Now, blood relation, after this one, they have given total three questions. I have not taken the questions. Just the instructions I have taken and we are going to convert this one to family chart. So that after converting the family chart, uh, you can easily solve the questions. There is no issue, no problem at all. Okay, right. Let's take this one. They have given, read the instructions properly. Seven persons, A to G they have given, belong to the same family. It's a three generation family, very important. And two couples are there in the family. There should be three generations and two couples. After that, they have given some information, C is father of B, something they have given. But the last sentence you see, no person in the third generation is a male. Well, what, what clue you can get from this one? No person in the third generation is a male. That means all the persons, person or persons, whatever it may be, in the third generation is or are, must be, must be female. 
what is the meaning of that one? When all the persons are in the third generation are female, it means that there is no couple in the third generation. They have given total three generations, two married couples. Means two married couples should be in first or second generation or first and second generation only. Isn't it? That is very very clear. Now start the question here. First information they have given that C is father of B, E is brother of C. Very very simple information. Just use the same technique. I have given you three rules for converting verbal data to a chart in plural relations. Go for those three rules. First one is C is father of B. How to go for this one? This is C. Father male plus M. Right? So C is father of B. I don't know the gender of B so far. See student this writing father. Later on you can eliminate this as well. I have given you the technique. Okay? Right. Next one they have given. C is father of B. E is brother of C. Now E is brother of C. Same generation. E male left to right. Always without rules. Left to right. Top to bottom. E male is brother of C. Later on you need not write these two. For the beginners I am telling you. Okay. Next information what they have given. G is uncle of A. Ah. Who is your uncle? Your father's or mother's brother is your uncle. Right. Now here G is uncle of A. Ah. E they have given. Now E is here. Of course E and C are brothers to each other. When G is uncle of A we must go like this. There is a person there is a person here, male or female must be father or mother of these two. Now, is fathers or mothers, brother is G, this is G, this is male. Now you got the idea, right? So E and C are brothers to each other. G is uncle of E, of course uncle of C. That means one more person should be here. This person can be father or mother of C and E. Our relation left to right. We have to go for brother or sister. That means this person is brother or sister of G according to our method. Okay. Next information you see. Brother of C. G is uncle of E over and F is the sister-in-law of G. Very very important information. F should be sister-in-law of G. Some students are getting confused here while drawing the chart for sister-in-law. Just we'll go a little slow. Who is your sister-in-law? Your husbands or wives. Okay, suppose if you are a male, your wife's sister is your sister-in-law. If you are a female, your husband's sister is your sister-in-law. In one way I can say, your wife's or husband's sister is your sister-in-law. That is one side. What is the other side? Your brother's wife is also your sister-in-law. Two ways. Okay? Brother's wife is sister-in-law or your husband's or wife's sister is your sister-in-law. Now see students here, you have to go logically. Don't go blindly. That's the reason why I have given you this method. In the basic sessions, I have given you three golden rules to draw the family chart. Here, F is sister-in-law of G. How to show this one? How to show? See students, you have to go by some imagination here. Because this question seems to be very simple. But there is scope for some further thinking. Logical thinking is required. You have to take all the possibilities. Now you see, to show F is sister-in-law of G, one of the imagination, assumption is like this. I may take this person as brother of G. Now G's brother's wife can be F. One possibility. Or you may take one more possibility also. What is that one? Just think it over. Suppose this is G. Right? G may have one more brother also. One more brother. Let's think in this way. Now, this brother's wife, this person is husband of F. We may take in this way as well. Yes or no? You have to go for all the possibilities. Suppose, if that is the case, whether this is right or wrong, according to the given conditions, you see. Observe this one carefully, students. It is a possibility, but it cannot be valid. Or it is not a valid one. Why, 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 why that is so? Because they have given that uh, after this F is sister-in-law of G, A is a female and A is not wife of E. Think it over now. Now, A is a female. That means if this is the case, 
I cannot keep A here. Anyway, F is female. Okay? I cannot keep A here. For some time, let us assume that A can be here. Right? If I keep A here, total how many persons are there now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is accepted. If I keep A here, I may keep D here. But one thing is missing there. What is that? There should be two married couples. So here, one couple is this one, this uh, person and F. If you keep D here, D and F let us take. But only one couple is here. Where is the second couple? All the seven persons are over. I am keeping A here, D here. In that case, A, B, C, D, then E, F and G. All the persons have come. For that reason, I cannot take this imagination. Yes or no? R. Why can't we think in this way? Let us take in this way. Let's forget about this one. I am just undoing this one. All right. Let's take in this way. It may be one of the possibilities also. Now think it over. G is a husband of uh, this lady. And this lady can be sister of uh, F. Oh, but now I can prove that uh, F is a sister-in-law of uh, G. Because G's wife's sister is F. That condition is fulfilled. Now here, F is sister-in-law of G. But students, even this imagination is also wrong. Why I am teaching you in this way? Because you should have, uh, your thinking should be from all the angles. So that your logic will be developed. Isn't it? Now here you see, if this is the case, as I told you it is wrong. Why this is wrong? Simple one, very simple one. Where shall I keep the remaining person? Total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are there. Who are the remaining persons A and D? They told that A is a female. Of course, I may keep A here. And they have given that A is not wife of E. I may take A is wife of G. I can keep A here and D here. But still the same problem. What is that? Only one married couple, G and A. No other, no other couple is there. I have to show that there are two married couples. Isn't it? For that reason, this imagination is also wrong. I am just taking this one out. This is also wrong, wrong, wrong. Now, what should be the right one? Simple way, you have to imagine in this way, G must be brother of this person. This person must be male, male, male. This person is male. Okay. Now, G's brother's wife is here. That is F. Now F is a wife of wife of this person. And this person is a brother, brother, brother of G. That means G's brother's wife is F. Now F is sister-in-law of G. That is confirmed. Now where to keep A? See students, clearly they have given A is a female. Now here this person is male. I cannot keep A here. Alright, moreover, A is not the wife of E. Now, there is only one possibility for me to keep A, that is in the second generation. Because third generation person or persons, whoever it may be, not married. Clearly, they have given all the person, no person in the third generation is a male. That means all are female, maybe one or more than one, don't get confused there. Okay, so I have to keep A in the second generation only. Clearly, I have to show one more married couple in the second generation. Now, A is not the wife of E. When A is not the wife of E, A must be wife of C only. Smile. Now, C is husband of A. Total how many persons are there? 3 plus 3, 6 plus 1, 7. A, B, C, E, F, G are over. Left out person is D. You have to go with this way. This is the analytical way of doing the questions. Alright, 7 persons are there. Now coming back to the genders. Clearly they have given no person in the third generation is a male. That means B must be female. What it? Now check the relationship here. F is wife of D. One couple. Now, D is brother of G, G being male. Clearly, they have given here because G is an uncle of E, that is male. Then followed by E, uh, sorry, D and F. These two are couples. For this couple, there are two children, C and E. 
Both are male brothers to each other, siblings. Now, C is husband of A. Now, B is daughter of C and A. This is how you need to go for the questions. They have asked 3 to 4 questions based on this one. Whatever the question may be, you can do very, very easily. This is the way, students. Alright, now let's close the session here. And we are going to continue same 2020 RBA assistant paper in the next session. In the next session, I am going to take up a, 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 a which one you have given? Which, ah, puzzle, ah, puzzle, seating arrangement and directions. Three. For one puzzle they have given, one seating arrangement and some questions based on directions. If possible, I will go for more questions. Within three to four sessions maximum, we are going to finish off. Uh, reasoning paper. After that, I will take up the quant. Quant, uh, if possible, will take continuously one hour so that or uh, different different questions are there. Very less group questions are there except data interpretation. So, let's work out on that one as well. Anyway, students, thank you very much for being with us and I request all of you to subscribe to our channel. Those who have not subscribed are not our students anyway all our students are subscribed please subscribe that and share this video in all your with the, all your circles so that even other students may be benefited thank you so much